Hello and hello to everybody. This is Funara. I talk about F1 a lot on this channel. After waiting three weeks long, F1 is finally coming back this weekend. And it's coming back in the most beautiful place, in my opinion, of course. We are going to Spa Franco shop this weekend. I'm very excited for it because it's my favorite track. I don't know what's yours, but let me know in the comments. And we will start with the Belgium GP circuit guide in this video. But before that, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because there will be circuit guides for the every Grand Prix on the calendar this season. If you don't want to miss any of them, don't forget to subscribe and let's go with it. Spa Franco was built in 1921, which was a pretty long circuit back then as 14.9 kilometers but later on in 1972 they reshaped it and now it's still the longest circuit of the calendar but it's the half of the original circuit layout which is 7.4 kilometers first belgium grand prix was held on 1915 which was the first ever f1 calendar f1 season in the history the circuit is the mixture of fast corners and very long straights so it's a very challenging place for the drivers and they push their limits to get the perfect lap around that but that's the reason why drivers love Spa Francorchamps so much but this is a dry situation but when it rains it's a different story in Spa Francorchamps and because of the nature of the Belgium and also the size of the circuit sometimes it can be rain in the some part of the circuit and it's dry at the other parts of the circuit so it's another challenge and it rains time to time in the Belgium for the Grand Prix let's talk about the stats now lap record belongs to Walter Bottas from 2018 with one 46.2 secondary Michael Schumacher won six times on Spa Francorchamps in this legendary circuit so he's got the title of winning the most in Spa Francorchamps but the latest winner of the circuit is Lewis Hamilton from 2020 hope we can enjoy a great race after this waiting the summer break and hopefully all the people who are working for Formula One had their best time get relaxed and had enjoy their vacations in the meantime but we really missed f1 races on the weekend so i'm looking for it and please keep in mind we will have three headers races like spa franco shop zandvoort and monza coming along three weeks long three races so it's gonna be very excited very beautiful circuits coming for us so if you don't want to miss the other two circuit guys and the rest of the calendar don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you on the next one toss it